And then desperate for relevance is Nikki Haley. I know many of you are like, wait, Nikki Haley's still running. She is. She is desperate for relevance. And the best she can come up with is just scaling up anti trans rhetoric. She's like, I don't know. No one's paying attention to me. What if I become a transphobe? Here's what she came up with earlier today. We've got biological boys playing in girls sports. It is the women's issue of our time. Where is everyone? My daughter ran track in high school. I wouldn't even know how to have that conversation with her. Mm. How do we get our girls comfortable with biological boys in their locker room? It's not okay. Everybody know about Dylan Mulvaney? Bud Light, right? There you go. Everybody know about that? Make no mistake. That is a guy dressed up like a girl Mm. making fun of women. Women don't act like that. Yet everybody's wondering why a third of our teenage girls seriously contemplated suicide last year. Yeah, actually, we have data about why so many teenage girls had suicidal ideation, Uh, unrestricted access to social media for 13 to 17 year olds, in particular girls, seems to be absolutely toxic, absolutely toxic. So Nikki Haley is kind of like no one's paying attention to me. Maybe I'll make some transphobic comments now tomorrow on the program, the podcast, the PCAST, as uh, the kids these days call it. I will break down a little more this issue of so-called men in women's sports. And you really have to give the subject uh, fair treatment, I would say. In many sports, it actually doesn't really matter. In the sports where muscle mass seems to be a determining characteristic of an advantage, you then have to say, well, okay, what do we do in those particular sports? And it's a relatively small number. Some people have said ban trans women from participating. Others have said set up a system. NCAA has done this already. Has it set up a system where doctors essentially sign off based on um, uh, hormonal levels to say you can participate. Others have said start a third category for trans athletes. You know, n- none of these solutions is perfect. But the point is, you take all issues, then you say, well, gender issues, issues related to uh, uh, trans, uh, then you go issues related to trans sports. Then you go, okay, within that, it's trans women because, you know, nobody's saying, oh, kick the trans men out of sports. And then the sports within that slice that it makes a difference in. And that's where we have to figure it out. So it's like, you know, these people pretending that this is the foremost issue. She says it's the number one issue for her daughter or whatever. She's out of her out of her mind. Some people say ban sports. That's another idea. 